Hey everybody, Rob Ensley here from the Outdoor Line of 710 ESPN Seattle. Early hatchery winter steelhead are hitting our rivers here in western Washington right now. And a great way to catch them is with a float and a jig setup. This is one of my favorite setups right here. Uh, this is a 10 and a half foot float rod. I've got a Lexa, Daiwa Lexa 300 uh, level wind right here. Uh, spooled up with 30 pound high vis power pro. This is a killer reel. It's got a great drag. It's also got about, you can put about 20, 22 pounds of pressure on this thing. To get hung up, crank the drag down, you can break off immediately. This is also a high speed retrieve. This is a 6.1 to 1. Get done with your drift, turn and burn, man. You can get that float right back up, pitch it back in there and get another drift going. So how do you rig up? Uh, this is a three quarter ounce aero float, one of my favorite float setups. Uh, these come with a bobber stop and a couple of beads, all right? You're gonna put that bobber stop up on your main line, up on your braid, tighten it down really tight. Now I've got the tag ends hanging off of here so you can see it. You wanna make sure you get that bead in there. If you don't, this float's gonna go right on past that and slide right up your line. So put that bead in there. Again, this is a three quarter ounce aero float. You can run a half ounce or if you want something a little lighter, this is just a great place to start. Half ounce egg sinker. This also slides up and down the line. If you don't want to run an egg sinker, another great way to go are these. Hey, I almost dropped that one. Bomac inline sinkers. Uh, these just tie right into your line. These are half ounces as well, half ounce as well. Uh, they come in quarter ounce, half ounce, three quarters ounce, whatever size you need. Pick up some of those. The idea is that if this is a three quarter ounce float, you want half ounce of weight here and then a quarter ounce jig. This all matches up perfectly with this quarter ounce jig. Uh, then you're going to run a swivel. This is a size 5, just a barrel swivel in here. I've got 12 pound fluorocarbon in here. Uh, when the flows are up like they are right now, medium to high flows, you can run 12. You could even run 15 if you wanted to. But as the river drops down, gets low and clear, you might drop down to 10, you know, maybe 8. If it gets really low and clear, you might go to 8 with an 8 ounce jig or something. At that point, you might even want to run uh, maybe a clear float or a smaller float here. But the way the flows are right now, this is just a great place to start. Now this is an aero jig. Uh, I mentioned it's a quarter ouncer, pink and white, killer color, just about any time. Uh, if you're going to put some scent on this, you can either run uh, some Tiger Prawn, a little piece of Tiger Prawn on there. You can use some Pro Cure. Uh, they've got a water soluble scent uh, that you can put just all over the jig. This is shrimp. Anything in the shrimp prawn kind of category uh, works good for steelhead. If you use a Super Sauce or a Pro Cure gel scent, Make sure you don't put it on the back of the jig, just put it on the head and up on the chenille. You don't want to gum up uh, uh, the marabou or that back, of, that back part of the jig that's going to move in the water. You want that movement at that thing, as that thing's going through the, through the river current there. So that's a great setup. Get out there, catch some early hatchery steelhead, and don't be surprised if you get an early wild fish this on this as well. This is a great way to catch all steelhead here in western Washington. That's a great way to go get some steelhead. Go out there and catch some. We'll catch you next week. Thanks for stopping by.